Good morning, everybody from Savannah, Georgia. We absolutely love Savannah. We've been here before. We're about to come here again in the future. This time we're gonna be in town for a short time. We're gonna uh, do a couple things downtown. Uh, but we're starting off the day here at the Goose Feathers Cafe. We've heard so many great things about this place. Looking forward to this. And we're gonna continue our road trip down to Key West. So today is day four now. And we have a lot planned today going down to St. Augustine. So we're gonna see a couple lighthouses today and then make our way into St. Augustine, the oldest town in America. And so we're looking forward to that. Uh, so that being said, let's head inside and get some breakfast. Here's a look inside Goose Feathers Cafe. You order right here, and you go find this table and they bring your food out to you. Looks like an awesome place in here. Our food has arrived, and Steph got the turkey sausage egg croissant there, looks good. Got me an iced coffee for the road there. And I got the Savannah style eggs of Benedict, which looks awesome. If you want delivery, the goose is loose. Look at that. We got their little delivery cart here. We're going to walk around downtown a little bit and we'll show you anything else we find. And I know there's a fountain somewhere nearby we're going to show, but we'll, we'll see what we can find. But palm trees, Savannah's my town, Steph. So that was goose feathers and wow. Coffee is excellent. The goose is loose, as they say. And I caught the goose in my belly. I think it was good. I had the eggs benedict. They put on a croissant called Savannah style. Croissant was amazing. Eggs benedict was amazing. Steph really enjoyed hers as well. We are in Forsyth Park. Nothing better than a nice walk after a great breakfast. Look at this park here, these old trees and got the Spanish moss hanging there, the moss. You don't even really feel like you're in downtown Savannah anymore. There's a giant fountain up here we want to take a look at too. We have made it over to the fountain now. They have dyed it green for St. Patrick's Day. Look how cool this old Savannah Vintage Tours and this old car. Is this Citrium? Citrium, yeah, I think so. <laughs> you gonna squeeze into that and do a tour? I sure will. That's pretty cool. <laughs> there is the bridge that we came over, which looks amazing. But look at this right here. Wow. There's a Coast Guard ship right there. There's a beautiful riverfront area down here. There's that very good hotel right there. You can stay in and have that beautiful view of the river out here. It's about to go underneath. There it goes. Right underneath. And it barely just fits. Looks like. Look at that. That looks so close. There's probably a lot more room than you think it is over there. That looks so close. There's the Coast Guard ship. We'll take a better look at that in a second. But right over here, the USS Savannah. They have this little uh, thing here. It's also dyed green. There's a cool fountain there. If you look closely at the fountain the ship there, the paddle wheel for it is moving from the water. So they got to aim just perfectly. And, of course, dyed green for St. Patrick's Day. There's a closer look at the Coast Guard ship, 909 U.S. Coast Guard. Okay, wait. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not a Coast Guard ship or nothing that you can go on. That is an actual real deal Coast Guard ship. They're docking right now next to us. Wow. These seas on like TV and on the ocean and stuff, they look tiny, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> we are right next to it. it is. It is huge. Next stop on the list is the smallest church in America. It's a little roadside attraction here off of Highway, was it 17, I believe, Steph, right? Yeah. And there's a little bell out here. May the bell ring out and praise the Lord, offering a dedication of our union, Wayne and Tommy Moeller. They were first 1998. Smile, you're on camera. They do have a donation box here. You can do, uh, or you can put a donations in that box there. And there it is. <laughs> Smallest church in America. There's one or two, four, six, twelve seats in here. Oh, it's an actual, real working church too. Really? 
Yeah, yeah because the front side shows the times on it, but I wasn't sure if that was real times or not. But they have all their notes up here and Bibles up here and look at the stained glass windows in here. And then the very big spider. <laughs> oh my. Oh, wow. oh yeah. This is really interesting in here. And above the door back here, stained glass up top. And there's a look back from where we are going inside. Beautiful church in here. We have made it to the St. Simon's Island Lighthouse. All the way up there. A really beautiful lighthouse out here. This is the lighthouse grounds out here. So the innkeeper's house right there. <clears throat> it's really nice through here. There's the Stroke Society over there. Oh, look at that view out there, babe. We are at the front side of the lighthouse now. The American flag there. Lighthouse peeking out the back, and it just looks so cool. It just doesn't look like that tall of a lighthouse at all, actually. The whole grounds out here beautiful. Oh, there's a dog. I hope we get the owner somewhere else. There he is. <laughs> dog there. Look at the view from there. Wow. Amazing view of the lighthouse and the palm tree and the innkeeper, innkeeper house there. And turning around, look at all these rocks out here. It sounds amazing out here too. We actually get on the stairs here if you want to, all the way down to the very bottom. And there's also barnacles on the rocks out here. But this is the view out here. There's barnacles on the bottom there, and yeah, you can actually walk out and go for a swim if you want to. Look at this. Wow. Look at that house right there, Steph. That, right. right there, the blue one? Oh, yeah. That'd be awesome to have. Wow. There's a placard about Fort St. Simons, right there in front of St. Simons Island Lighthouse, or Lighthouse. Information about it right there. St. Simons is built by English troops under command of General James Edward Oglethorpe in 1738. A little more information about it right there. Such a beautiful place here. Here's the little thing about St. Simon's Light right here. Gazebo to the left, which is back over there. That's where you purchase your tickets at. This is completed in 1872, replacing the lighthouse destroyed during the Civil War. Orlando Poe, chief engineer for U.S. Lighthouse Board, supervised the design. It says there's a cannon to the left of the gazebo, but I don't see it. You see it in the picture there? Yeah, I do not see that anymore. It may be gone. I see the anchor over there, but I don't see the cannon. That's Neither. some good information right there. And a good photo right there. Next stop for us is Lover's Oak. Look at this tree right here. Wow. 1787 to 1987, the National Arbiters Association, the International Society of Arbiterculture. Our culture and just enjoying recognizing the symmetry in the bicentennial year as if we lived here at the time of the signing of our Constitution. Wow. Look at that. Some information about Lover's Oak right here. You can see there circa 1905, 1890s, 1920. Lover's Oak is one of the oldest live oak trees in Georgia, the oldest in the city of Brunswick. A tree between 350 and 900 years old. There's a little more information about you can read right there. Florida! <laughs> Our last state on the road trip from Delaware out of Florida. Last state. The U.S. is... I can see it. <laughs> 
just gotta get the sun out of my eyes. I can see Key West from here. Our next stop is the Amelia Island Lighthouse. And unfortunately, this is not one we'll be able to see closer or go inside when the buildings up here today because this lighthouse is only open Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And it's currently Monday. So this is one of those ones where it's like, there's no way we could plan around our trip to kind of come here. Um, it's a shorter lighthouse too, as you can see. Uh, but the street is literally coming down to the neighborhood here. That's the street there. And you have one entrance here, which is padlocked, except for Saturdays, 11 to 2. There's a little information sign right there about it. I'll zoom in on the lighthouse a little more for you. See if I can zoom out just a hair to get it just right for you. There you go. A beautiful lighthouse and beautiful grounds up here though. We are about to head out of Amelia Island Lighthouse. And this next part is exciting because we're in Florida now, for starters. So you only saw a little clip in the video I think we put in there. Uh, we're like, Georgia, 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 Florida. <laughs> uh, but now we've gone on the whole coastline and now we're about to start the A1A, the famous A1A that goes right up here from Millie Island with just a street or two over from where we're at now and then going to go all the way down to Key West. So we got a few more days on this road trip. This is day four, I believe it is right now. Uh, we are about to go hit the A1A and start driving down the A1A all the way down to Key West. Looking forward to it. One more look at that lighthouse right there. It's a beautiful, it's a butte, Clark. It's a butte. And now... A1A time. Alrighty, so we said we were heading towards A1A. We just left a million island one house less than a mile back. We're on Atlantic Avenue, and there it is, the famous A1A. South A1A, South A1A. <laughs> but guess what, guys? If you didn't know, there's a car stopping in front of me. If you didn't know, there's also another sign, South A1A. So here we go, we're gonna turn right, and we're gonna take a1A from the start here all the way down to Key to West. Where? Key West. Yes, we are. Key There's West. Oh, look. Ocean. If y'all didn't know, what? we're on the South A1A. <laughs> Silly. So we're looking forward to it. This is, we've done A1A to Daytona before. So this would be exciting for us to do all the way down. We've also done it through Miami before, our area too. Uh, but we haven't done the whole thing, so it's going to be exciting. And there been the Florida Keys either. So, so I'm looking forward to it. And if you didn't know, we're on the A1A right now. A1A is taking us over to the ferry. We've been on this ferry before. This one you can't get out of, unfortunately, but it's still cool. So we're going to get on the ferry now. And he's going to put us over to the right side. go this is our spot for the next five plus minutes crossing and then a little bit longer until it gets going huh? you got a good uh, window seat stuff you can fill out the window i'm gonna put my car in park and then put my e-brake on i stuck my head out the sunroof y'all this is cool look at this Woo. what's that babe oh just hanging out. It says you can't get out of your car, but I'm still in my car, right? Oh, she's out of her sunroof in front of us now, too. I think I'm stuck, by the way. I want to just go behind me so you can see. I don't know what the view is back there behind me. I have no idea what y'all just saw, but... We're almost done. This is a, uh, it takes, they say about five minutes to get to the other side. And we've been going maybe two or three minutes now. And you guys already see the dock on the other side over there. There's an old ship over there. HMS Global Maritime, and especially your crew, thank you for riding the St. John's River Ferry. We are a link in the East Coast Greenway system. In a few moments, we will be docking into the terminal. Please prepare for a possible bump if we make contact with the slip wall. If there are any motorcycles on board, please continue to support your motorcycle until we are docked. Again, thank you for riding and visiting the Timiquan Preserve. The streets out here for St. Augustine are beautiful. Look at this, y'all. Absolutely beautiful out here. Uh, Jared, those are peacocks. I know, they're going to the Fountain of Youth with us. Come on, let's go, <laughs> let's go drink some magic water. And the Fountain of Youth. We have made it over to the famous 
fountain of youth. Here's some information about it right here. The 1513 arrival of Juan Ponce de Leon and in the legend of the Fountain of Youth. People lived in the site for over 3,000 years. So those peacocks we saw that were coming in here, literally are coming in here. <laughs> Park at your own risk. Watch out for the peacocks. I'm gonna take one home, Steph. Uh, no. Look at this. 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. weather permitting cannon firing demonstrations. So they come inside, you got a peacock looking at us. It actually was a real one right there. He didn't seem very happy with us. <laughs> oh, another one over there. Right there. And welcome to America's first colony. Ponce de, Ponce de Leon, Fountain of Youth Archaeological Park. It's nice in here and stuff. There's a cannon. Oh, look at all the peacock stuff. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, this place is already awesome. I'm cleaning across a 1513, and there is the Fountain of Youth and Water. They actually have cups down here and everything. I'm gonna have to go down here and give this a try. You know, it's alive. The Fountain of Youth Spring. Juan Ponce de Leon. Mm. That's cool. You have to pause it there. And right here behind you, look. I found the youth. This spring was discovered in 1513 and was recorded a landmark in a Spanish grant. Steph and I are going to fill up our little cups right here. There it is, the fresh water, and we'll drink it here. One second. The Fountain of Youth. Are you ready, Steph? I already did. You already drink? Steph, I already drank hers. All right, I'm gonna drink this stuff and take my hat off. If I got hair, it works. Let's see. Really <laughs> Take my hat off, please. <laughs> I'm still bald. I didn't get any younger, but I got some water that doesn't taste very good. Just to be honest with you, but I drank the fountain of youth water. I'm still younger already. As you go into the fountain of youth from this side, Ponce de Leon's. Fountain of you think of the peacocks out here. It looks really nice. That's a pretty cool thing, honestly. I know the water doesn't taste good, and I know like some people actually believe in that and some don't, but it's pretty cool to drink the fountain of youth water uh, no matter what. So, uh, turning around, a little fountain back here. Discovery Globe, little show there. Mm -hmm. The show just started a few minutes ago, so we just missed the show. The planetarium down there is another show that we're not going to be able to do. The Spanish moss in the trees. Yeah, we're going to look at the map. We're going to do a couple things here. We might film everything that we do here, but we'll show you uh, some of our highlights here. But I just feel like I want to run a marathon, Steph. I feel young. Planetarium is over here. Oh, this is a dead end, isn't it? I guess I'll, I'll step over this and show this little fountain over here. Oh, yeah. I have a photo out back there. A little fountain here. And a little photo op back here. There is a barrel exhibit. Oh wow. The Native Americans buried here were probably Converts to the mission of Nombre de Dios. Yes, the first Catholic mission in San Luis, which was the first Catholic town in the United States. There are town of these burials, at least part of the mission, and was located here. Archaeologists believe the building you are standing in covers what may, at the time, have been a mission church. You'll see a reproduction of that building elsewhere in the park. Oh. So much history here, wow. There's a lot to read here, but ancient civilization uncovered. I'll let, let y'all pause it here so you can read everything. It was, just talks about 1934, labor with the founding youth began work to cultivate a citrus grove here on the property. Almost immediately a shovel thrust in earth, a cluster of human bones. There's a lot to here to read. 
Basically, it took them five years, and they found 94 Christian burials of indigenous people. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Smells good with these flowers. Oh, oh, he heard you. Oh, no. right, we, we good? We gonna head over here, sir. He ain't see us. Oh, he he just spread his wings. Mm -hmm. Oh, you dance? Oh, wow. I was gonna turn around for us, Steph. Look. Oh, oh. the original mission church. So we were at that uh, site over there where the burial ground was, and I believe it was a church there. This is like the original uh, mission church. At least it's a replica of what it looked like here. There's a lot of information on it right here. Look at that little cross up top and everything. Oh, this is 17 wow. British anchor across the way there. Oh, cool. It's in the tree stump. That's neat. 1770. Can you imagine that, Stephanie? 1770. They didn't have air conditioner either. That was the least of their concerns. <laughs> yeah, very true. <laughs> 1770s, I promise. This is a copper cauldron. That's interesting. It's copper original circa late 1500 stuff. Oh wow. And then... Restrooms. Mm -hmm. Exits this way through the gift mm -hmm. shop. Mm -hmm. There's one right there. Why? Why? One, two right there. Why? Why? Go ahead, Steph. Oh, look at there. There's a whole peacock farm over here. Oh my gosh, that one has a thing. There's a white, there's a white peacock there. They have miniature bottles here. With your name on it. Actually, a glass too, which is nice. They also have these bigger bottles here, fat and a few spring water. I have that green bottle part of it as well. But they got a lot of different bottles. There's some other there on the wall. Big collection here, Miss Fish. This comes from the valley? Mm hmm. I guess so. We are leaving the Fountain of Youth now. That was a pretty cool place. We didn't show you everything, so we're not doing like a full video on it. We're doing more of you know, our vlog style for this trip. Uh, we spent way more time there than we thought we would. We thought we made 10 or 15 minutes here and out. There's a lot to see there, a lot of cool peacocks. Uh, we drank the water at the Fountain of Youth, and then um, those little tiny glass bottles that had your name on it, we got two of those, it was our souvenir. I was thinking about getting a bigger glass bottle to hold, but then it was really cool, you could get a Jeremy and Stephanie glass, and they're like that, those little small ones, like the little like, shot glass type ones. Uh, they're wrapped up. Yeah, I was gonna show y'all, but they, she wrapped them up really nice for us since we're traveling. Um, but they're solid glass too, which is nice. I think about six bucks, or no, five bucks a piece, which is a pretty good deal. I highly recommend this place. There's a lot to do here. You can spend a lot of time here. And was it 20 bucks a person? It was 39, yeah. About 40, yeah, about 40 bucks for two people to go in. Um, I didn't grow any hair. So at least for me, the Fountain of Youth did not work. I, it's one of those things I feel like you have to drink the water. It's like that thing you have to do. But I will tell you, just being transparent and honest, we always were very honest. The water's not good at all. Um, it just it just tastes like just tap water uh it does not taste like what you think of spring water in the store or like a fresh spring water from like a restaurant or wherever you go to now those probably have been through machines and different things and purified um but it's spring water it just doesn't taste good i don't know how to explain it but i do highly recommend at least drinking at least taking one sip it's very neat because it comes out from the ground in the spring there they have little plastic cups there too but very cool place yeah it's pretty awesome and uh, we'll show you a quick glimpse of our hotel room. Uh, we're going over to Hilton St. Augustine. Uh, that's where we're staying tonight. And then we're going to go to Meehan's for dinner tonight. So I'll have a full video on the hotel probably and on Meehan's. But we'll show you Meehan's. Meehan's. I don't know. Meehan's. Meehan's. It's Meehan's. It's Meehan's. We'll look it up to make sure. Meehan's though. But we'll show you a little bit of that uh, dinner. And then we'll show you a little bit of the room and be looking out for the full video. So we'll see you over in the hotel in a minute. Checking into our room. Here's a quick glimpse. I'll have a full video up on YouTube. But a little bathroom over here. Looks very nice. Standard bathroom, but still very well done. King size bed. Love the headboard there. I know their TV. They always greet, greet you by name, Steph. Every TV knows me. This in the south. Cool mirror, chair, desk. Another chair. Very nice room in here. Window. Overlooking historic St. Augustine. This is the Hilton in downtown St. Augustine. There's the pool there This is one of the main reasons why I've chose this room here 
The wow factor. Look at that. You got two rocking chairs out here in a chair. This is your balcony out here. And look at this view. Wow. You can even see the lighthouse over there. It's a little bit hard to see the lighthouse, but it's off in the distance there. And there's A1A right there. That's the rover going to be driving down all the way to Key West. Look back at the pool and the whole property back there. It's only two stories and not a very big property, but it's a historic property. Really cool. There's a look down below. But yeah, we're going to go off tonight to Meehan's up the street a little bit. Maybe do some walking around the downtown area. Uh, we'll close the vlog out later after that, but I just want to show you real quick this view. It is absolutely stunning out here. We are getting hungry and it's time for dinner. If you know the nerds, you know we love Irish food. So Meehan's is right here behind us. We're going to go inside and get some at least fish and chips for me. Staff will probably get a shit pie, I'm imagining. Uh, but Meehan's looks like a pretty cool place right here in the downtown area. Our Reuben egg rolls have arrived. There's already two missing and they're on our plates now. Look how good those look on the inside right there. Here's a quick look at the food here. Some more of the food options over here. And some of the Irish fare here as well. And sandwiches. And there's those Reuben egg rolls that we're digging in right now. But a pretty good menu here. Our food has arrived. Got the fish and chips here. And Steph got the shepherd pie. I think it's safe to say Jeremy enjoyed his fish and chips. Excellent fish and chips for sure, yeah. For dessert, we got a warm Guinness cake. Look at this cool statue right here. They have the live band over there. This whole restaurant's just really awesome in here. A lot more sitting that way and more sitting back this way as well. Just closing out the night, walking through St. Augustine. Look at stuff, waffle and milkshake bar. <laughs> I'm already too full for that right now, but a cigar shop, Casa Maya restaurant here. have like the main strip here and they got another strip here this is really neat st george row 18 unique shops magnet tours candy shop over here steam phones is like the arcade national kind of stuff. Ever, uh, the arcade downtown nashville has like looks just like this of course now most of it's being torn down or has been torn down uh but this has some amazing pizza in the arcade and all kind of stuff in nashville a uh, jerky store Shark Shack sunglasses, Father Time clocks. Yes, man. Uh oh. Oh. Well, I was showing them everything else. Shake with Uncle Sam, 25 cents. Where's she? Called? She is. She doesn't have a name. Bertha. I don't think that's Bertha. But then there's a magic cat down here. It looks like the story cat in your father. Oh, that's cool. Test your love today. I've never seen the magic hat before. I haven't either. I wish I could do it, but I don't have money. Dollar bill. Okay. Magic hat. <laughs> that does look really cool. It looks just like the Harry Potter hat, though, honestly. It's identical. Or not quite identical, but it's close. It's really close. Uh oh, Steph. There's a Colonel Hopper store. You know what I'm thinking, don't you? What are you thinking? We're going to our Fisher's popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> this place actually looks really good, though. If you look inside, you got the big popper here in the front. All these big tubs of popcorn right here. We just got back though from uh, Rehoboth Beach up there where we got the Fisher's popcorn. And that Fisher's popcorn was absolutely fantastic. Um, little tavern right there. It's just a cool town, isn't it? Walking past this little store. I just think this is awesome right here. If you need a bag for your French baguette, they got you covered. Look at there. I want a French baguette bag, so I go to the store and just buy all kinds of bread and put in my French baguette bread bag. What's your statement? Pizza by, pizza time, pizza by the slice, grandma's pizza. Oh, this looks like a New York pizza, doesn't it? Remember in New York, how they have a slice like that? Like the little shop that is too? We're up in New York, they had it looking just like this. It looks the same kind of pizza, doesn't it? So that closes out another day. Another fun day, another day on the road. And we're in an awesome town now, St. Augustine. We've been to this town many, many times before. 
and it's absolutely awesome. This is our first time actually staying in this town and doing more of this stuff. We just did a lot of walking through the shops tonight. I think tomorrow we're going to try to catch a museum before we leave. Uh, but we went or started our day. Got a little cheat sheet here, right here. Uh, yeah, we started our day at Goose Feathers Cafe. That's right. Had that awesome uh, poached uh, egg, eggs Benedict croissant. Steph had a great breakfast. Uh, we also went over to the Forsyth Park and saw that fountain with the green water in it. Uh, that was awesome. We went to a couple of lighthouses today, so that was really cool. And it says my little cheese sheets. You can see everything I'm looking at here. Um, it's just hard to see out here because it's on the balcony. One of the smallest church in America. Uh, there's a cool little roadside stop right there. You know, Amelia Island Lighthouse was great. Uh, it's cool riding the ferry over. Um, yeah, just, just an awesome, awesome day. Lots of fun stuff. Um, the, sorry, our neighbors. <laughs> um, the Fountain of Youth was awesome. So I didn't like the water. The water tasted a little bit odd, but you know, hey, it is what it is. But still really awesome. Um, uh, fun thing to do to actually drink the water in Fountain of Youth. I didn't grow any more hair. Um, and just a cool place there. And then we went to Me Hands, uh, right here in St. Augustine. Wow, their shepherd pie was great. Steph enjoyed that. It had uh, like a lamb beef mix in it. Uh, I had the fish and chips, which was phenomenal. Really good. I had the french fries, which were great with that. We had the chocolate uh, cake for dessert, which was pretty good. And then we also had the Reuben egg rolls, which were fantastic. So if you're in St. Augustine, highly recommend Me Hands. You will love it. And we just went and walked on those little shots for a little bit. So all in all, another great day on the road. We're almost there, y'all. Almost to Key West. You know, getting a couple years, the next year, the year after, we go from Delaware up into Canada and finish that side of the coast, um, of the East Coast. But it's been a fun, fun journey. Um, tomorrow we're heading down to Port Canaveral and we're going to do some things like a day on the beach, uh, Ponce Inlet, uh, the museum here tomorrow, some things like that. And then after that, we'll be heading down, I think, stay in Homestead, Florida after that, and then do a day in Key West, and then come back out of Key West and head over to Destin, Florida for a few nights. Um, so, all in all, another awesome day. Y'all can kind of see the bay behind me a little bit and the Bridge of Lions over there. A1A is right there behind all the cars are driving on. This is just a fantastic hotel here. There'll be a full video up of this hotel as well. Um, we didn't do a full video on Meat Hands, so if you heard that earlier in the video, we just did a couple little shots there. The live band was super loud. We also were just enjoying the live band and just enjoying each other's company uh, without really feeling much, uh, which is good. So, um, you know, we try to spend as much, not as much, we try to spend a good amount of time off camera as we do on camera. Um, so that was a great dinner. But, um, yeah, looking forward to tomorrow. Key West will be soon. And uh, just can't wait. But with that being said, the nerds are out.